everybody and welcome back to another video so today i did a little training vlog i just wanted to do a little intro actually because i was unable to film a lot just because whenever i'm at training i'm kind of like laser focused and i'm not usually on my phone for too long but i took Draco out to training and i finally got to see beretta she has actually been at board and train now with elevated canine academy for the past month or so i honestly wasn't even keeping track but she has been gone for a good while um a lot of people always ask me why i send my dogs off to board and train and i feel like training is just one of those things where it needs to be done for a consistent period of time and if you don't have that time to give to your dog then i highly recommend board and trains so i guess a little backstory about elevated canine academy and board and trains before i start this video off is i have known oscar oscar mora the owner of the company for a very long time now he actually helped me train draco ever since he was a little puppy so i do really trust him with all of my dogs i trust the whole entire team we're all really great friends and they're absolutely amazing um they have been here since day one and finding a good trainer to help you in your working dog journey to me personally is just so important and i honestly couldn't thank them enough for all the help with my dogs they have absolutely trained and transformed my dogs into the dogs they are today but of course with all of the board and trains i mean it doesn't just end at board and train so just because you send your dog off for five weeks does not mean that it's going to come back 100 percent perfect obviously you're going to need to put in more work at home um it starts with the owner and board and trains just give you that great foundation to start off with and yeah that's kind of why i chose to do board and train with my dogs just because i mean a it's just consistent repetition for i mean five weeks straight or however however long you decide to send your dog off it builds a great relationship with you and the trainer because when they send the dog home to you you are you are going to have someone that is able to help you out whenever you need i mean this is if you go to a good trainer these guys are my friends so i know i can call them up or text them whenever i need them so the argument that it's the easy way out, I just, I don't really understand that because every single day I'm still training my dog. I'm still doing everything that they taught at board and train at home or else all my money and time that the trainer put into this dog is literally just going to go down the drain and it's not a win-win situation for anyone. All right, without further ado, here is the little training video. I just wanted to say I was really happy to see Bretta for just a short amount of time. She wasn't quite ready to go home just yet, but she will be coming home um, on Wednesday actually. So hopefully when this video is up, I will already have her home and I'm really excited to see her. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Hello everybody. So today we're going to take Draco to his bite work class with Club Today. I already said today twice. Um, got my Starbucks and now it's time to drive there. It's probably going to take us like 40 minutes because it's in Carson. So let's go. Usually I put Draco in the cage in the back over there, but it's been really hot lately and I leave my car outside and when I opened the car today, it was like freaking hot in the car so I was like yeah there's no way I'm gonna put him all the way back there even with the AC blasted you can't really feel it so I ordered a little portable fan to hook onto his cage back there so when that comes in then he'll be sitting back in his cage consistently but as for right now he is currently just chilling right there
It is so hot. Um, Draco is not doing bite work today. We're just gonna teach him how to do some dumbbell retrievals. So let's see how it goes. today's bite work we're now heading home it's literally gonna take me about an hour to get home because it is now 5 p.m. so I've been there since I think 12 or 11 so yeah a bunch of traffic um, some days are more filled with like stuff than others but today we just mainly focused on Draco's um, obedience I just did a little obedience with him and then we did um, his dumbbell retrieval stuff which is kind of new to him so he's not super used to it yet but we'll be working on that and then Beretta of course so yeah. 